Hare Krishna everyone. Welcome to the Krishna Deerin channel. Today I am going to share with you recipe of a dish which I tried at a Buddhist restaurant. And the name of the recipe is Sweet and Sour Pineapple Delight. This recipe turned out almost the same flavor and I thought it would be very nice to share it with all of you. I just wanted to request that if you liked watching the video then kindly share it and leave your comments below. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. So let's proceed towards the recipe. So this is around 350 grams of extra firm tofu. That is what you want. You need a firm or extra firm tofu. I washed the tofu and then I'm patting it dry. Now I will show you how to slice it. This is the exact size you need. This kind of cube size tofu. If you are not going to use tofu and if you don't have tofu available near your area, you can just use paneer instead. But this recipe is ideally made with tofu. So now here in this bowl, I'm going to take nearly one cup of cornstarch. In that cornstarch, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to make a medium consistency batter. After making the medium consistency batter, I'm going to add all the tofu to it. And by the time I'm going to add the tofu, I'm also going to heat oil in a pot. And then after that, I will fry the tofu on medium heat until they turn little golden brown. Make sure to not overcook the tofu because uh, you don't want the tofu to get too hard. So remember to keep the texture only golden brown and to fry it only for nearly five minutes that's it so this is how the texture should be so they have crispy texture from outside at the same time they are soft from inside this is what we have to maintain so i will fry all the remaining tofus like this in batches and by the time the tofu is frying we'll start preparing the sauce so here i have two cups of fresh pineapple juice what I did was I just uh, crushed some pineapple and then I just uh, extracted the juice out so you can even use uh, pure pineapple juice which you get in the store so now here I'm going to add nearly one and a half teaspoon of orange food coloring and I will be whisking it along with the juice you can use the quantity of the food coloring based on the kind of intensity of the color you desire. Now I will add one tablespoon of powdered sugar also known as icing sugar and I'm going to add two teaspoons of lemon juice. You can also use rice vinegar for more authentic flavor instead of the lemon juice. Make sure that the heat is on low heat or low flame because you don't want the sauce to get or the syrup to get burned. Now remember that paste which we had created for coating the tofu. Just use that paste, nearly half tablespoon of it to make a thick syrup out of it. So make sure that you do not discard that paste. And then you'll see that the entire sauce is thickening. I added nearly one teaspoon of water more and now I'm going to gently cook it. This cooking will be just for nearly one to two minutes and then gradually you'll see that the sauce has thickened. I think that the quantity of the sauce is a little lesser so I will just prepare similar quantity of the sauce in a different pot and then add to it. So I made the additional quantity of the sauce and I just mixed it together like this. And now what I'm going to do is keep the heat on low still and then add chopped bell peppers. This is colored bell peppers and some pineapple chunks. And then add the tofu to it, which we had fried. And then mix it all together. Make sure that the heat is on low. You do not want the sauce to get too thick and st stick or burn. 
so after mixing it what i'm going to do is turn off the stove and then i will be sprinkling nearly a teaspoon of salt one tip is that you do not need to use an extra cornstarch for making this sauce you can use the same cornstarch which we had used for battering the tofu I will be garnishing it with nearly half tablespoon of sesame seeds and once that's done I will be placing a tulsi leaf and offering it at the lotus feet of Shri Krishna. This makes our offering complete. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.